In this video I want to demonstrate our import and export functions between Excel and Promax. So the idea here is that we have a simple JT skid that we've set up in Promax. We've embedded an Excel workbook by using this add Excel workbook button. And then here in my Excel sheet I've set up this table and I have a value that I want to take from Excel and import to, into Promax and that value is my JT outlet pressure. And then when Promax uses that value and solves, I want Promax to report back into Excel my JT outlet temperature and part of the composition of that liquid that comes off my low temperature separator. And so to do that, let's start with our imported value. So we're going to import this pressure into stream number four. If I double click on stream four, you'll see that right now I've just manually typed in 250 pounds but instead of having a user specified number there I want Promax to grab this value from Excel so the first thing to keep in mind is that when you want to pass information from Excel into Promax using this feature you'll need to do so only in a blank cell meaning that I just need to delete this number and now that it's a blank cell I'll be able to pull that value from Excel to do this I just right click where that value used to be and when I right click there's this export to and import from Excel option when I select that it brings up this little window here and the first thing it's going to ask me is to choose the cell the range here in Excel where this value is coming from and so I'm just choosing D6 in that case next it wants me to verify that my units are correct and so I want it in pounds per square inch and in gauge pressure here and then it will let me choose whether I want to export or import this value and in this case we're importing into Promax. Now there's an always versus while not solving option and the difference there is that if you do the export or import always options it's going to be continuously importing this number throughout the iterations and things that Promax goes through. If you only want it imported at the beginning and not during the the solving portions which is usually the case it's easiest just to choose the import or export while not solving. So I'll go with import while not solving and click OK. You'll see that a blue box now appears, meaning this value is controlled uh, somewhere, in this case by Excel. And if I come over here to Excel, if I type in a new pressure, that value will automatically update. Now what I want to have happen next is when Promax solves, if I go ahead and execute that, I want this temperature to now be put into Excel. And so I'm going to right click on that temperature and go to this window again, this export to and import from Excel. Once again, I'll choose the cell that I'm looking at, which is D8, and verify my units. And because that wasn't an empty cell, Promax knows that exporting is my only option and so by default it's chosen export while not solving which is what I'd like to see so I'll go ahead and click OK and that value will populate there for me the last thing I want to do is with a composition and so if I go into this stream number seven which is our liquid off of our separator we look at the composition I'm saying that I'd like to report back these first three components so our C1, C2 and C3 composition. Now when you right click actually anywhere in this table if you right click and choose export to and import from a very important thing to note about compositions is that they're stored as arrays within Promax and so rather than being able to select a particular value out of the composition it's just going to go from the top of the list on down depending on how many cells you have selected so what that means is if I come over here and select three cells, Promax will export the top three components in my list, no matter what those components are. And so it's important that you have your list in an order such that it reports back the correct compositions. If I had CO2 and N2 on the top here, even if I wanted C1 through C3 to be what are exported, it will always export the top components on down. So it's very important that our list is in the correct order. But now with these three cells selected, when I click OK, we'll see that those three components have been exported now into Excel. 
And so that's how compositions work with, with this tool. Okay, so that's our Excel import and export feature. And I hope you enjoyed this video.